You're watching the Rotoscopers YouTube. I'm Morgan Stradling. And I'm Chelsea Robson. And today we get to talk about our amazing experience. We got to go to the test screening of Disney's Planes. We're excited about this one, actually. This was a really good movie. Yeah, who would have thought I that know. we would be saying Planes was actually really good. Yeah. But it was. I mean, the only problems I had is the plot. You know, we're not going to spoil it anything, but just kind of give you our general impressions. You have to go into this movie expecting the universe of Cars mm -hmm. and just expecting even little things. So I remember in Cars how they had different, the you know, all the different mountains and clouds and everything kind of in the shapes of Cars and everything. It's kind of the same thing, but with planes. The plot is basically one quarter Cars plus three quarters Cars 2. And instead of a champion racer, you have a rookie racer. Yeah. With planes. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> know. So it's actually really good. I, I actually really like the characters. Dane Cook plays the lead Dusty, who is a crop dusting plane. And I imagine, like, as they were, th you know, sitting there thinking of characters for, for a movie, they knew they wanted to do planes, and they're thinking, who should our lead be? And they probably sat there and said, what is the most boring type of plane out there? Ah, uh, the crop duster. Yes. <laughs> You know, so they take him, and he has the most boring job. He flies back and forth doing lines every single day. And it's sort of like Wreck-It Ralph, where, you know, his yeah. buddies and everyone's just okay with it. Like, hey, it's life, man, you know? So uh, finally, he reaches this point where he's like, there's something more. I want to be a racer. Yeah. Because apparently racing is the only thing that matters in the Cars universe. Obvious. Yeah. If you're not racing, you're not a big, you know, it doesn't matter. You're mm -hmm. not a big deal. <laughs> One thing, I really enjoyed some of the characters in here. They took a lot of the different characters in Cars, changed them up a little bit, and then added fantastic dialogue. Yeah. I love the dialogue on here. I mean, you had different characters in here that were, you know, you got the fanboy archetype. You've got yes. all these different characters in there that just like, <laughs> that's really funny. That's clever. Good job, Disney. <laughs> Sinbad's character was hilarious. Yes. I think his name was Rover. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anytime he came on, anytime he came on the screen, I was busting up laughing. And Thank you, Sinbad. <laughs> he was just so good. Good casting there. And everyone else loved him. Like, mm -hmm. he was probably one of the funniest characters which is pretty awesome yeah i also liked who's the who's the best friend from everyone loves raymond oh, he's know. the really big tall guy with the big gruff voice oh yeah so he was one of the voices for the one of the sidekick characters i really liked him he did a really good yeah. job and he was very consistently funny throughout the entire thing and that's one thing that i really enjoyed about this movie it's like the dialogue was fantastic i gave the dialogue in itself four stars and this movie was very true to form in the fact that it was played homage to planes. Yeah. There were plain jokes. There were plain uh, puns. <laughs> yeah. Like everything related to planes. And it was funny. Yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> you know, so I appreciated that. I also liked that there was a bit more adult humor. By adult, I mean, like, mature. There weren't, like, anything raunchy no. really in it. But it was just, I mean, you had to have lived a few years to get some of the jokes. And I appreciate it. It was very yeah. Simpsons-like to me, where, like, Simpsons is on this very low level. It's funny, whatever. And then there's, like, the high, like, <laughs> I'm a Harvard graduate and I'm writing for The Simpsons type of lines. Yes. And, you know, the direct is a former Simpsons guy, so uh -huh. I very much appreciated like those little nods to make you know the adults in the audience like it. And I didn't feel at all like it was like, oh, I'm here in this kids movie, and when is, when is this going to be over? Yeah, no, you uh, throughout the entire time I was engaged. Mm -hmm. I also really liked the music choice. <laughs> they yeah. had no like even at the start of it, you know, through throughout the beginning, just all the background stuffs in there. It's like. This is really cool. Yeah, at the very beginning, they have this like rock anthem that's just like, bam, 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 bam. And I'm like, nice. <laughs> this I is hardcore. This. Yeah. <laughs> like, definitely sets a precedence. We really liked that one. And I joked going in to Chelsea, I'm like, what if this is a musical? That'd be hilarious. Yeah. It kind of was. <laughs> <laughs> Not I love them. <laughs> there were two songs, yeah. but like the first one, we're not going to talk necessarily what it was, but it was very like over the top Disney musical. Yeah. Like, let's break out and singing. <laughs> Why not, right? It's fantastic. <laughs> and it was really good. But it kind of at the end, you were just like, hmm, that came out of left field. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but the other song was kind of, it definitely pushed the plot along a lot more yeah. and fit a little bit better. It wasn't like breaking out in song, even though it totally was, but it fit because yeah. it was more of a realistic breaking out in song. Uh -huh. oh, um, it was classy. Yeah, it was good. Very, very suave. Yeah. <laughs>
One thing I actually kind of felt like going into it, I was like, all right, this kind of just seems like they're trying to add on to Cars Land, you know, in California Adventure. <laughs> yeah. They're like, I need, we need to make another land here, or at least add on to this whole thing within the same genre so it can kind of blend really easily. Mm -hmm. So let's just add a little bit on there to the planes. Yes. <laughs> it's like, we need the Dumbo ride, but for planes over here, you know, the, the one that like spins around. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like what I went into. And... They probably will do that. So go ahead, California Adventure. You know, we'll be fine. <laughs> so Disney Toon Studios, the studio that that has produced this, they've done all the Tinkerbell films. So very high quality yeah. stuff. Um, but originally, Planes was set for a direct-to-video release, mm -hmm. and that kind of made me nervous. Like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, ignore this because it's direct-to-video, but then again, Tinkerbell is. Yeah. And then they switched it to direct-to-theaters, and at first I was like, oh, no, that means, you know, it's going to be really bad because it was originally direct-to-video. But yeah. then I was thinking, Toy Story 2 was once direct-to-video yeah. at one point in time, and they switched it up a few months before, and that is probably one of the greatest movies of all yeah. time, let alone Pixar movie or, you know, part of the Disney nowadays. But So, you know what? It's okay. The fact that this movie had so much potential, they moved it up, is a really good sign, and hey, I was a, I was a fan. I was a fan, too. All in all, like I said, I gave the dialogue in general a grand old four stars. That just kept me rolling throughout the whole thing. And the, the movie itself, I don't know, what I would say maybe like a 3.5 yeah. as a total. But still very, very funny, very worth it. Go see it. Yeah. I mean, who'd have thought, right? Yeah. Who'd have thought? Be excited because this one's good. Yeah. And what else is there to watch in August? Nothing. <laughs> 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 Yay, August. Yay, school starting. Oh. <laughs> so if you if you are just obsessed with planes and you want to hear everything you can about it, we did do a written review that's on the website, therotoscopers.com. And then we're also releasing a podcast. So it's essentially this YouTube video, but maybe three times the length. Yeah. Talking a little bit more about the characters, a little more in depth. This was just a little sneak preview. And of course, always in respect to Disney, spoiler free. So check out therotoscopers.com for those things. And until next time, we are the Rotoscopers.